Hello, welcome. Delighted that you're considering studying GCC Classics with us. Let me tell you a little bit more about the course. So, the course breaks down into two papers, which in normal times would all be um, assessed by an exam at the end of the course. So there's no coursework anymore. The first paper you'd start in fourth form, that's Roman city life, and then you'd move on to study women in the ancient world predominantly in fifth form. You can take classics without having ever studied it or even Latin before, so don't feel that what you're studying at the moment would close the door to you for classics. And in fact, we find that some students study Latin and classics at the same time at GCSE. Both uh, courses run alongside each other very nicely. So the kind of topics you'd be studying then, we'd start off with things like leisure and entertainment and the way that society or housing and daily life worked for a Roman in fourth form and then you move on to, to look at women of myth and legend of the ancient world but then also considering what their daily life was like how their marriage might have worked or about women that perhaps didn't behave as they were expected to and might have been feared by the men around them let's look at a couple of topics in focus the first one is the leisure and entertainment topic i always think this is probably the thing that you think of first when you think of the romans so You've got the gladiators, chariot racing, day out at the baths, a decadent dinner party. All those things I think are very sort of Roman when you think of them straight away. So not only are you learning about the different types of gladiators that, that they had or where they might have learned their, their skills and then taken part in fights, but actually you're also looking at what the ancients had to say about them, how they wrote about them or maybe some of the sources that produced about them and what we can infer and understand from those, like the one that you can see in the centre of your screen at the moment. In fifth form we go on to have a look at this topic, women to be feared. There were some in the ancient myths and legends that should have been feared by the ancient uh, Greeks or Romans. In the bottom corner there you've got a woman of uh, history, so Cleopatra, who was of course feared by the Romans because she rose to such a powerful position, being in charge of Egypt, something that didn't happen very often in a Roman city. And then you've also got a woman of myth, so Medea, who helped out with Jason when he was trying to get the Golden Fleece, like the image that you can see at the top of your screen. Now she was not one to be wronged though, after she'd helped him out, he eventually wanted to go on and marry somebody else. And she, as an act of revenge, kills their children and then escaped at the end of the play that's written all about her, that we read extracts from, in a chariot sent to her by the god of the sun. You can see an image of that on a pot in the centre of your screen here. You also have women like the Amazons, who used to fight alongside men supposedly on the ancient battlefield. So we'll be reading sources about these, looking, as you can see, at ancient images of them and trying to understand what their life might have been like when we're looking at sources that were really only ever produced by men. I couldn't talk to you today without mentioning our trip. This isn't a compulsory trip, but it offers a perfect opportunity for you to see the places that you're studying as part of the course. It's always an enjoyable few days, usually takes place in the first few days of our October half term in alternate years. Obviously that hasn't run recently uh, and won't be able to run this October, but we'd hope to be able to offer it to you in the October of your fifth form. We visit Rome at the start of the trip for a whistle-stop tour of some of the places that you've seen and then move on to Pompeii and the Bay of Naples. I hope that you can agree, the course is fascinating. Students always say they enjoy it. We have good take up every year, usually with three uh, independent classes with around 15 pupils in them. You can see from the photographs of our trip here, there are large numbers taking the course and then that go on to our trip as well. Um, I think they just really enjoy it. They enjoy the camaraderie in the classroom as well. You would have the opportunity, obviously, with three different classes in each year group that you could be taught by any member of the classics department. And we all really enjoy the course and uh, going through some of the fascinating sources and stories with you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or speak to one of your teachers. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in a GCC Classics classroom next year.